All right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toya, and I'm here to do a reading for you guys. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for the likes and subscribes thus far. And if you like a private reading by me, hit me in my email at itoyo at icloud.com. The prices are in the description box down below. So let's get into this video, all right? This is actually a channel message. I channeled this yesterday, okay? So when I was um, channeling, what I picked up on is that somebody keeps comparing you to somebody that you are not shit alike here, okay? Somebody keeps comparing comparing you to somebody that is toxic or low vibrational you are nothing like this person here okay for some of you guys they're comparing you to this person because of your looks or because of something that you do or like i said this person is just simply projecting um but like i said they keep comparing you to somebody that is low-key toxic and you're nothing like this person here okay i feel like you guys are very loving and accepting to yourself and others here okay some of you guys if this is an older individual they are comparing you to their child here okay they might have a very disrespectful child others of you guys like i said this is somebody that keeps comparing you to somebody that they think is childish or they think is toxic or i don't know but you're nothing like this person okay i also put that this person is annoying as fuck here okay this person is really really trying to be in your business so for some of you guys you might be seeing flies okay gnats or some type of bug here like a, a lot of this bug okay because this person is trying to be in your business so just watch out for that here okay i also feel like this person is definitely talking about you um with their friend or somebody that they are connected to i put her and a friend they be talking but whatever they be saying, they bow shit. So, yes, this person and their friend, like I said, they don't like you. This person doesn't like you. They keep comparing you to somebody. Everything that this person's saying, they don't know what they're talking about, okay? Her and her friend, they be talking. But whatever they be saying, it ain't about shit, okay? So, like I said, you're probably seeing flies or some type of... Um, insect or something to let you know that this person is talking about you and all up in your business here, all right? Um, I also feel like you guys could be hitting a milestone in something that you're doing or you guys could be reaching a goal here, okay? Some of you guys, this has something to do with your money. Some of you guys, this has something to do with your business here or something that you do. But I feel like some of you guys, you're really hitting goals here or you just hit a milestone here, okay? So like, I don't know if you've been trying to manifest $10,000, you just hit that. Okay, and this person knows about it for some reason here, okay? Some of you guys, this has something to do with a pregnancy, okay? You hit six months on your pregnancy. Some of you guys, this has something to do with your baby, your child. Your kid is nine months. Your child just got an award here, okay? Some of you guys, like I said, somebody just got married. Some of you guys just got married. Some of you guys just announced that you're in a relationship here or that you and your partner have been together for six months, six years. You take it how it resonates here, okay? Some of you guys, you have been really working on your body, okay? Okay, you've been losing weight or gaining weight or um yeah, I'm hearing gains here. Some of you guys, you've been working out here, okay? But I'm I'm telling you, some of y'all or most of y'all here, you hit some type of milestone. Okay, but I'm getting this milestone that you hit is everywhere. So either one, everybody is talking about it too. Everybody else is celebrating with you. They're sharing whatever you got going on. Oh man, my homegirl lost a hundred pounds. Let me share this post. Okay, whatever it is that you got going on, if you hit 10,000 subscribers, this person knows about it. It's everywhere. Everybody's congratulating you. Or like I said, you're being pushed in the forefront. It depends on what the situation is. Um, and like I said, this person or these people are seeing it and they are so annoyed here okay and i also feel like something that you did you did something that should be taking a very long time you did something that should be taking two years five years you did it in less than a year here okay so some of you guys you're really reaching goals really really fast okay so like i said for example if you were if your goal was to lose 50 pounds in a year, you lost that shit in six months, okay? Something of that nature, but you did something that was supposed to take a year and less than a year here, okay? I feel like everybody else, whatever this goal is that you recently, um, you recently, you recently reached here or this milestone that you recently reached, I'm telling you, it takes everybody else so much longer to get to the point that where you're, where you're at here, okay? And like I said, this is why this pre person kind of seems like pressed, annoyed, but I'm telling y'all, keep doing what you're doing here um there's more people that are fucking with you than hating on you okay but i'm getting every time i pick up on a hater energy it's because this person energetically has the potential to like fuck you up energetically so keep your guard up keep your vibration high and don't let nobody in your energy to fuck you up because like i said they're mad because you're hitting a milestone because you six months pregnant because you 
10 years in a relationship because you hit a million subscribers because you just got a thousand dollars in your bank account. I don't know. You take it how it resonates for you here. Okay. <clears throat> um, and I feel like a lot of you guys, the reason why you hit this milestone so fast or you're hitting this milestone so fast um, is because you're letting go and you're letting God. I feel like you've been wanting whatever this is um, for a long time. Or like I said, most people don't really know how to let go. But I feel like you saw clearly what you wanted and you decided to let go, let God take over here. And I feel like you guys just decided to focus on your self-love. And this is why you're getting to this milestone so much faster than everybody else, so much faster than this person. Okay, I feel like this person is jealous. Okay, um, I also feel like because you let go, you let go out, God, and you start to focus on yourself. You, like I said, you started to feel empowered here, and it gave you the energy to move forward here faster than normal, faster than everyone else here. Okay, I also feel like you guys could be um empowering empowering others as well. So whatever you're doing, everybody else is here for it. They're happy as fuck. They're proud of you here. Okay, some of you guys people could be sharing your work, something that you're doing. Okay, this milestone, you take it how it resonates. But people are definitely proud of you, and they are also feeling empowered by you as well. Like I said, it's just this one hater and their friend, or this one hater and their mom, or whoever this is. Okay. Um, I also feel like there's somebody here to see your work. I'm telling you, whatever you're doing, people are seeing you. They're loving what you're doing. Some of you guys, like I said, they're seeing you as in general here. Okay. Some of you guys, you might not be doing work in specific here. Okay. But I'm seeing, seeing that somebody wants to share your work. Some of you guys, this is your music. Like you hit a milestone with your music here. People could be supporting your music. If you make music, others of you guys, like I said, this might have something to do with work art or any other thing here okay but somebody wants to share your work here okay or your art um and i feel like you don't really have an issue with that because it's going to spread the love here okay so whatever you're doing i feel like you're putting a lot of energy into it you have nothing but good intentions here and you have a lot of people that are watching you that want to share your shit they want to support you and whatever you're doing here and like i said i feel like you don't have an issue with that okay maybe somebody's nervous they they think that you might have an issue with them like sharing let's say you did art sharing their artwork like oh my god look at this beautiful piece okay some of you guys this is what's about to happen to you or this is what's happening to you here okay um but like i said i don't feel like you have an issue with anybody sharing whatever this is some of you guys somebody wants to use your work for something that they're doing or use your song use your beat you take it how it resonates but you do not have an issue with whatever this is because i feel like it's nothing but good energy okay and whatever you're um, whatever you're doing like i said um the people who are trying to support you and they're sharing your shit, they have good peer intentions here, okay? They feel embraced by you, okay? Um, it's just that one person. Who cares, though? Um, I also feel like somebody is just, like, really crushing on you. Like, this person, this might be the person that wants to share your work. They might want to share your music here. Some of you guys, if you're in a relationship, yeah, they're still plotting on you. Others of you guys, there, there might be somebody that's crushing on your lover. You take a high resonates if your lover is the one that's more creative and active here okay but i am getting the fact that somebody is like crushing on you and they low-key plotting okay this part somebody wants to come towards you it's like they want to connect with you they want to work with you some of y'all this is like um they're crushing on your work they don't necessarily have to want to be with you some of y'all they really really like your work and they're like this shit is amazing like i love their work i love their music i love their art i love whatever it is that you do here like i really want to connect with them i need everybody to know about what this person does here okay so a lot of you guys this person is plotting to come towards you and for some of you guys, like I said, this person does, somebody does have a crush on you and they're plotting to come towards you or either your um, lover here, okay? So you take it how it resonates. Um, I am getting that you guys, like I said, a lot of you guys are very witchy or very unique, very different here. Um, and I feel like, it says maybe so are oh and so is this person so like i said this person who wants to come towards you they're different in the same ways that you are different unique if you're unique witchy creative you know they're the same type of energy you as you and in, in some sort of way here but i'm getting like i said this person that is crushing on you or like i said they want to come towards you because they love your work or something that you're doing here um there is somebody telling this person or trying to tell this person to steer clear of you or to watch out for you okay um i feel like this person like i said it seems like this 
as a friend here, there's this person that doesn't like you. They keep comparing you to somebody that you're you're not, okay? And like I said, there's somebody that's seeing you for who you are. Like I said, they keep trying to tell this person that wants to come towards you to steer clear of you, to watch out for you, to be careful, okay? I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't really trust her. It's that type of energy here. But I'm also getting this person who wants to come towards you because they love your work or they love your energy or they love something you're doing or they want to share something that you're doing. Uh, this person does not give a damn what this person is talking about talking about because this person is the same exact energy as you okay if you're witchy and like i said somebody's like no don't go to her don't 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 hear her up her don't listen to her music don't do this because she's this this person is like um yeah anyway i'm just like her and i'm about to hit her up so some of you guys like i said you take it how it resonates some of you guys this could be like you're a very witchy individual and let's say um somebody has a crush on you and they want to come towards you they want to come shoot their shot there's somebody else that's like mm, i wouldn't do that she probably put spells on people and she's probably witchy she probably does this she's so weird like that type of energy and this person is like yeah that's exactly what i'm looking for like i'm just like that i need somebody to vibe with me like this person is trying to steer people away from you you, but this person already sees you for who you are and they already see themselves within you so like i said whatever this person is saying to try to get them away from you or people in general okay for some of y'all this is multiple people trying to come towards you and one person trying to stop them these people are coming towards you anyway because they're the same energy as you okay they feel judged like let's say this person starts judging the fuck out of you and they're sitting there like i do all of that yeah i'm gonna hit him up like <laughs> backfire that shit backfire basically okay but this person could really think that you're like demonic. Some of y'all, this person thinks you're demonic. Some of y'all, this person thinks you're dangerous. So it, take it how it resonates. Some of y'all, this person just thinks you're dark or something. You take it how it resonates. Um, but I'm also getting like this person is really actually crazy as fuck. This person is damn near obsessed with you. They telling people that you're dangerous or demonic or evil or don't trust her. Don't trust him. When they're the ones that's obsessed with you, it seems like they need a fucking exorcism. Like they shouldn't be so obsessed with you here, okay? Um, this person could have also tried to dis disrespect you here. For some of y'all, this person is doing all of this. This is somebody that you used to be cool with, okay? And most of y'all, this person can't talk shit about you or they shouldn't, okay? They shouldn't talk shit about you because you know their business, but you're not a, a bitch. You're not a bitch. You don't just tell this person's business. So for some of y'all, like I said, this person's crazy. They're damn near obsessed with you. And this person tried to disrespect you or make you look some type of way. Like I said, they're telling people you're evil, demonic, or not to trust you or come around you. And for some of you guys, you did used to be friends with this person or connected to this person in some sort of way here, okay? Like I said, this person, they should not be talking shit about you because you know things about this person. This person shared things with you that are way darker than, than they're trying to make you look. Like, you know what this person has been through or you know how dark this person really is. Even if they didn't directly told, tell tell you, like, this is what I've been through, you know how dark this person is. You can see through this person. But some of y'all, you know because they told you, okay? And the thing about it is you never told anything about, you never told anybody about anything this person went through. Like, if they was on some toxic shit, you never told anybody. If they was on some whole shit, you never told anybody. But this person, they steady telling people, your business or not even your business steady telling people lies about you to get people to not fuck with you and that's why somebody's still coming towards you anyway that's why somebody's still finna fuck with you anyway here okay um like i said you guys got secrets about this person and you know secrets about this person and you would never blast them and that what that is what makes you so real here okay I also feel like, like I said, this person doesn't like you. Somebody does not like you. Some of y'all, y'all might see this person out in public or you saw this person out in public. This person is staring at you hard as fuck, okay? They're so bothered. And I feel like a lot of you guys, they might be mean mugging you. Like, you have you ever, like, been out and somebody's staring at you and you look and they're like, Bitch, what are you staring at? It's that type of energy, okay? This person does not like you. They're mugging you. For a lot of you guys, it's two energies. Like I said, a bitch and her friend, a bitch and her homie, staring at you, complaining about you, crying about you, okay? A lot of you guys, like I said, this is because you keep popping up. This is because you reached a milestone or you're doing something really, really uh big here, okay? And... <laughs> 
they can't help but to see it. Either everybody keeps sharing your work or like I said, whatever you got, your manifestation is so damn big. People can't help but to see it here, okay? But I'm getting, like I said, someone is so mad you keep popping up on their timeline. Some of y'all, y'all keep popping up on somebody's news feed. They hate it. They hate you. They hate your entire crew. They hate your whole family. They hate when, like, if, like let's say somebody shared your post on Facebook. They hate seeing you shared on their social media here, okay? They hate seeing your family shared on their social media. If you are a part of a team or a crew or a group, they hate seeing you and your crew on social media here, okay? Some of you guys, like I said, they're literally seeing you on their news feed, on TikTok or on YouTube here. They fucking hate it. Okay, so this person is getting real, real mad and real, real annoyed because you keep popping up on their timeline. For some of y'all, this is your ex or like I said, a lot of emphasis on old friend. Okay, um, and I feel like if it's just two bitches talking shit, it's, they're talking shit about you because they're trying to cheer each other up. Okay, they see you hitting these milestones and one of them is like, what the fuck? Did you see him? Did you see her? And the other one that don't like you or is their friend for some reason is like, yeah. Fuck her. Yeah, that's why she lame anyway. Yeah, that's why he lame. He ugly as fuck. It's like they start trying to tag team you. But this is to make themselves feel better because you just hit a milestone or you're reaching a goal and they're so pressed and they tried to turn people against you or this person did try to turn people against you, but it's not working. Like they are so pressed. And this is so funny to me. Um... <laughs> For some of y'all, like I said, if this is your ex, this is a grown-ass man. He mad as fuck talking shit about you and his mom or his ex or his girlfriend or something because you popping up on his timeline. But it's just giving me, yeah, these people are really hurt on the inside. And like I said, they're cheering each other up by talking shit about you because you keep winning in front of their face. Like, they can't help but the, you keep popping up. Even if they block you, somebody else is, like, sharing your post or somebody else is screenshotting you and putting you on their shit. People are like... What the, I mean, this person's like, bro, I cannot run from them. So, like I said, they talk shit about you to make themselves feel better. For some of y'all, this is one person, and they end up getting a new friend. And like I said, they have their new friend joining in on talking shit about you. And other of you guys, like I said, this is an old friend group, and you left them behind, or you, you know, whatever the fuck. And they get mad, and they talk shit about you every time they cro you cross their timeline. But it's giving me funny as fuck. Laugh at their ass here, okay? Because if they giving you the evil eye, it definitely ain't working, Okay? Um, even if it's your ex here. And some of you guys, like I said, some of y'all, this might be over a guy. Okay. Some of y'all, like I said, somebody's mad that somebody posted you. This person hates seeing you. Okay. Somebody could have put you on their story, shared your post, put you on their timeline. It's something that you did here. Okay. That somebody shared. Okay. Some of y'all, like I said, if this is a love situation, you got a new boo. Okay, and this person might have posted you and somebody else saw it and they were mad as fuck, all right? But those were my channel messages. I did pick up on a few locations, actually a lot of locations. Uh, we got Texas, okay? To be specific, we got Garland, um, Fort Worth, Dallas, Houston, Austin, Lubbock, and Perland. I also got Kentucky. We got Lexington, Kentucky. We got Tennessee, Memphis, and Nashville, Tennessee. We got Philadelphia, uh, Boston, we got Cleveland, Ohio. I also got Toronto, uh, Columbia. I got Louisiana, which is New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, shit, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, we got West Virginia. We got Colorado. I also got Kansas, which is Wichita, 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 and Missouri. Also St. Louis. Oh wait, I said Missouri as if it was a part of Kansas. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri. My bad. Um, in Kansas. Kansas City, okay? I also uh, put South Carolina, Nevada, Virginia, Norfolk to be specific, um, and Coral Springs here, okay? And I did pick up on a few names. It can either be your name, the hater's name, or somebody that is supporting you. You take it how it resonates. Middle, last, you take it how it resonates first. Uh, Courtney V, Nina, Laura, strong are the R names, okay? Uh, Danielle, Sarah, Stevens, uh, Tika, Dean, Powell, Jessica Williams, Shay, Shonda, Lachey. Okay, a lot of emphasis on Shay because I got Shay and Lachey. Uh, Anita, Shana, Nicole, Vicky, Jack, Gabe, Nicole. Emphasis on Nicole. Okay, Sophia, Monet, Nay, Rachel, um, Jay, Matt, Ella, Dennis, Thomas, Holmes, Sebastian, Anthony, and Deja. And I did pick up on a few years here. Okay, this could be birth years uh 
1982, 1987, 1997, 1993, 2022, 2003, 2013, and 2018. All right. Hope it resonates. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Go on, take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go on, take a little dip. Go on, take a little dive. Get that energy right We gon' get it together Cause the car, the cars The key clarity The cars, the cars The key what you need Subscribe to my channel